If you're a new rider, you need to watch this video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're talking about five things that you need to know if you're a new rider. And this is mainly advice for me. Uh, as a younger rider, because when I started riding, I had literally zero riding experience. I went out, I did a CBT, I started on my 125, and then about a year later, I did my DAS, or my direct, ask, direct access scheme. And from then onwards, I've been riding this, my Triumph Street Scrambler 900, and I absolutely adore this bike. It is the perfect bike, in my opinion. However, there is so much I wish I knew when I was when I was younger. When I when I was younger. When I when I started riding, man. Like when I started riding, there is so much that I know now which I didn't know about then. All right. Anyway, let's get into it. Number one, the number one thing I wish I knew as a complete new rider is to buy motorcycle gear and buy good motorcycle gear because when I first started I bought a cheap Oxford riding jacket and I started riding in March now you might think yeah it is quite warm walking around in just a hoodie it's not warm on a motorcycle it, it's cold man especially in March now number the reason that I say buy good motorcycle gear is don't just buy the bare minimum don't just buy your CE stuff, go out, spend a bit of money, buy your A rated stuff, your double A rated, your triple A rated, whatever it is, buy good quality stuff because especially as a new rider, you are gonna, oh, hello, Mr. Policeman. All right. Especially as a new rider, you are going to be more likely to crash. And people always say it, dress for the ride, dress for the slide, not the ride. And that couldn't be more true. Now, if you want some good looking stuff that is casual, I know that everyone likes casual motorcycle gear. I like casual motorcycle gear. I'm wearing a pullover over the top of my bike jacket because I don't like the way that my bike jacket looks. And I want to be just a tiny bit warmer because although it's September right now, it's, um, yeah, it's getting cold, although the sunset's gorgeous. Anyway, if you want something that looks casual, like riding jeans are a great place to start. They're great. Cargos like these, these are just some brown cargos that are, um, I can't remember where they're from. They're in the description. If you want to know what gear I wear, it's all in the description so you can uh, buy it for yourself. But no, if you want something a bit more street riding, if you're riding like a sports bike or something, um, Who's that? Who's that has got armoured hoodies for sale, armoured cargoes for sale, and I think he's about to drop some uh, some unprotective ones as well for just lounging about because apparently they're super comfy. I haven't uh, indulged in a pair yet, but um, yeah, I might because I think they, they do look the business. And also that would look sick in the winter, I think. Just all little black, black vibe. And yeah, so who's that make great quality stuff? And the amount of stories that I have seen, I actually hate roundabouts. Um, the amount of stories that I have seen where people have had accidents and he posts them on a story and the hoodies, man, they look absolutely fucking destroyed. And what the hell is that thing? That's huge. <laughs> um, yeah, the hoodie's absolutely destroyed, but the... The rider was like unharmed, a couple of scratches, a couple of bruises. And that is the sign of some good quality riding gear. And that's why you need to go ahead and get yourself some. Number two, don't skimp out on your helmet, man. Especially if you are gonna be using a bike all year round or, you know, even in the summer, a good quality helmet makes a massive difference. This helmet that I'm wearing right now is a Premier MX helmet and it's like 300 quid. And it is an open face helmet, but I must say is one of the most comfortable open face helmets I've ever worn. The wind noise that actually comes into the helmet, ridiculously quiet. And plus the design's cool. I I love the look of this helmet and it was one of the things that drew me to it. I mean like the whole 
the whole thing, let's face it, is pretty much inspired by Motorfields, but, you know, he's got a sick vibe, so shout out Rob Hammond. But no, like, I have my Scorpion, Scorpion Exo um, helmet, which is a great full face helmet, and it was relatively cheap. It was about £200, but again, great quality wind resistance, and uh, yeah, they do their job. I had a helmet on the back of the bike when I was going to take my dad out for a ride, and it scraped against my back tyre, and yeah. Um, let's just say the helmet kind of was wearing away. It was probably still safe to like ride on, but better to be safe than sorry. It's my all black one that got put into the garage, never to see the light of day. Maybe if I get a studio one day, I'll like put it in a glass box and, and be like the first time you destroyed a helmet, you idiot. But um, yeah, it, it did its job and it's a good quality helmet. That was a cheap helmet as well. So I bought a second Scorpion helmet and I would recommend doing it again. Like I, I would do it again and again. I think the spending money on good quality gear, whether it's a helmet or you know anything else, gloves, what have you, that is massive. You've only got one head and you've only got one body. And number three is slow speed control. And you, it's something you've really got to master, especially as a new rider, because it's gonna help you so much when you transition to a bigger bike, whether that's a 600, a 900, 1000, whatever you end up getting on. It's gonna help you become a better rider and it's gonna give you a greater sense of control over the bike. It is a massive skill to be able to ride a bike slowly and not something that everybody does. Number four, number four kind of comes into its own on group rides mainly. And it's something that I really wish I knew sooner is the, you know, group rides, number one, they're not scary. They're not something that you should not want to do. But when you're out on a group ride, just ride your own ride, man. Like, don't try and keep pace with anyone. Don't try and do anything stupid. Just, just go out and enjoy it for you because that's what we're here to do. That's what we're there to do. This is the best piece of advice that I, I could give any new rider is go out and meet people, ride with people. Don't be one of these people that just goes out and rides alone. Find a group of buddies that you ride with regularly. Like I know so many people that ride man and I love going out and just going for, for food, riding from cafe to cafe or what have you because it helps you be drawn into this hobby that is, you know, all encompassing when when it's done, man. Like when we're out, when we're having fun on bikes, it is all encompassing. It's all you want to do is just go out and ride more, especially as a new rider. And having that excuse of going out with mates and enjoying it even more, oh man, it's magical. And you will never forget that first summer ride, ride out where it's like eight o'clock, it's nice and cool maybe down by the coast I was I send in the coast road just as hard as I could on my little 125 it was insane man and it was probably the best experience I have ever had on a bike now that being said if anyone's watching this video who's not a new rider thank you for making it all the way to this point in the video and drop down in the comment section below any advice you guys have got for new riders because you know it's massive man like helping people get into this community is incredible and that's what we're trying to do at the end of the other day so drop your advice down below like the video if you do subscribe if you aren't already and i'll catch you in the next one peace